for this next project, we are going to be doing collagraph printing. Printmaking is an art form where you start with a block and you are able to make multiple prints using that one block onto different pieces of paper. A collagraph is a printmaking technique and for our collagraphs, we are going to be using a block that has raised pieces or textures that stick up off the surface to make a rubbing that will become our print. Here are some examples of some collagraph prints that were made using a block. And so when you're looking at each of these examples, on the left over here, you can see that this is the block. And then they use the collagraph technique to make it into this print. So again, this one's the block right here. And they use that block to make this print. When we make the block to become your collagraph print, we are going to be using different types of cardboard. Like boxes work really well. And um, this is a piece of chipboard right here that I've used, which is a little bit thicker than the cardboard from a box. Uh, we'll be using glue and scissors because the image that you make, you will have to build onto a piece of cardboard so that it sticks up off of the surface. This one is actually already made. So here's my block. This is a piece of cardboard that has other pieces of cardboard glued on top so that if I rub my hand across the surface, you can feel that there is a, a piece that's glued on top. And that's why it's, it's a raised piece with a texture. When you are making the collagraph prints that we're gonna start making, you can think of them like a rubbing. I don't know if you have ever done this before, but you may have used a coin before and a piece of paper to make a rubbing of that coin. This can be done with a pencil. And if you rub the pencil over the top of the coin, you can see an image of that coin shows up where you are rubbing it. Here, I'll turn the coin over and make another one. Here's one with a crayon. This is a very simplified version of what we're going to be doing. So the prints that we're making, instead of using an existing object that has a raised surface with a texture, you're going to make your own surface with a texture on top. And what we can do with this block right here is you can set your paper on top. You want to hold it still, otherwise it doesn't work quite as well. And we'll be doing a texture rubbing of your image onto your paper. So I'm going to use the same crayon for this one. And I'm holding the crayon on its side. And I am just rubbing the side of the crayon against the paper. Again, while you're doing this, you want to try not to let the paper move. And in some ways, that is the most difficult part. As I'm making this rubbing, you can see that the shapes that I had glued on the block are showing up onto the print. You can get really fancy with it too and put in some other colors and stuff. So here I've got an orange. So now you can see the image on the block becomes the image on your print. And the cool thing about printmaking, the whole point of it is that you can make multiples. So using one block, you can make many prints. And we can use different materials. This is a piece of charcoal. Again, printmaking is about making multiples of one original block. 
Here we go. Another collagraph print using the same block. And we'll be able to make multiple images using the block that you make out of cardboard. So now after watching me make a collagraph print, hopefully these images make a little bit more sense. So you can see how the block will become the print that's next to it. So our first step is going to be to make the block for your project and then we can use multiple pieces of paper to make as many prints as we need to. Here are some examples of some really professionally made collagraph prints. They can be very simple or they can get very detailed, but the whole point is that you make these to show textures and to show shapes and to show lines in your artwork. And so most collagraph prints tend to be at least kind of simplified, but obviously this one with the bird has a lot of texture whereas the one with the tea kettle has some textures in the tea kettle, but it's also a little bit more simplified. You can also make them have really rough textures, like this kind of musically inspired one. Now remember, the block is the thing you start with, and so designing your block is going to be the first thing that we do. For this assignment, I'm gonna talk a lot about abstract art. Now, if something is abstract, it means that the picture, the drawing or the painting, is not trying to represent a thing. It is not a painting of a cup. It's not trying to represent a cup. It's not a painting of a person. It's not trying to represent a person. There's no object in the artwork at all. An abstract piece of art, a truly abstract work, is just an arrangement of the elements of art like lines and shapes and colors. And so you can see this example is a painting by Vasily Kandinsky. And in this painting, he's not trying to paint a cup or a person or anything like that. He has arranged shapes and colors and lines into an interesting composition. For this assignment, abstract works are going to work really well. And so I want to encourage you guys to make an abstract design for your collagraph. Now it is true that a lot of abstract artwork can look like, ooh, maybe that could be something. But if it is, then it's kind of by accident. And it's, it's fun to make abstract artwork that ends up accidentally looking like something. These are some pretty simplified abstract designs using shapes. Uh, at the bottom, these two are a little bit more complicated, but for the most part, all of this is just lines and shapes arranged in an interesting way. When you are making your design for your collagraph, you want to think about how each shape is going to be cut out of thin cardboard and then glued onto the surface. So if you make super complicated shapes, it's gonna be difficult to cut those out. Or if you make super teeny tiny shapes, it's gonna be real difficult to cut those out as well. So think about shapes that can be arranged in an interesting way that are not gonna to be too tiny or too complicated. Our very first step for this project is to come up with your design for your block because this is what we're, we're going to make first. So to come up with the design, we're going to make four thumbnail sketches. Now this is not the first time we've made thumbnail sketches, so hopefully you remember that a thumbnail sketch is a sketch that's intended to be quick and simple and just give you the basic design of, of what you're gonna make because later on we're going to perfect it and make it look nice. So on a piece of paper, this is a piece of copy paper, printer paper, you're gonna fold it twice to make four sections. Here I've got my designs all put together for three thumbnail sketches. You can see that my thumbnail sketches, I, I'm sticking with an abstract design for all of mine. So I'm just thinking about shapes and how to arrange those shapes into an interesting composition. So making my thumbnail sketches should be something that doesn't take very long. 
In some of mine, you can see I went with lots of curved shapes and others, this one's all geometric with just straight lines. And so this one, I'm gonna try to make a combination. Your thumbnail sketches do not have to be perfect. That's the whole point. And so your first assignment for this project, the first thing you're going to actually turn in is a picture of four thumbnail sketches. So you can see that thumbnail sketch that I just made took me maybe one minute to draw. And I've got four different designs now. This is step one of this project. Here is today's to-do list, and it is just to make four thumbnail sketches of four possible designs that you might use for your Collagraph prints. Some reminders, abstract images work really well for this. So if you're trying to make it a picture of a turtle, and then when you print it, it doesn't look like a turtle, you're gonna be sad. But if it's just an arrangement of squares and rectangles, and then when you print it, it doesn't look like squares and rectangles is probably not gonna happen. So try to stick with abstract. Another thing to remember is to avoid using words. A lot of the prints that we make are going to end up backwards. So by putting words onto your block, you're actually going to end up with an entire backwards word. And so just avoid doing words at all is my other piece of advice. Now, we are going to give you guys two days to work on these thumbnail sketches. So today is Wednesday, but these are actually going to be due tomorrow, which is January 6th. 